Alright, show on, show on. Giving all praises and honor and glory that is due to you. How about Shimmy Shai? About Shim Rakatadash, Devil Lost to the and the Apostles of Great Moonstone, who will well. Peace, blessings, and salutations always go to the whole and let that scatter abroad. Alright, to you brothers out there pushing this truth with our righteousness and sincerity. Alright, and to the Aqua, the few sisters that are listening and learning, to you, I say Sean Wong. Coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and the power of Yah Bashin Yoshai. Well, we're going to the fine feet of the lesson Yah Bashin Yoshai through the spirit of Rakakadash. Praise and lesson be able to find it straight to the point. Alright, and as you can see, man, what's going on in Beijing, man? Panic buying, okay? Alright, so hey, let's just read. I'm going to scroll through a few of these articles, man. Alright, as you can see. It says, panic buying in Beijing as district starts mass C testing. All right, you see that. It says, C lockdown fears sparks panic buying in Beijing as large districts begin mass testing. All right, so hey, as you can see, man, this thing is ramping up. And I saw an article where the, uh, there's that, uh, DV, all right, you know what I'm talking about, all right. They say it's now ramping up in uh New York City, man. So hey, this thing is coming back, man. All right. So guess what's coming, man? More lockdowns. The restrictions that you people thought was gone, and two American people thought was gone, they call coming back now, man. They're about to come back in a major way, okay? And they're about to get even more, more, <laughs> more stricter, man. And, hey, this devil's about to come down with great rap because he know it that he got but a short time, man. Okay, so the things that are going on in these other countries is coming here to Babylon, the Great America, man. All right, and I was watching a lesson from the uh, brother from New York, man. All right, I'm one Gabar. All right, he did a lesson all right, that you Americans are gonna be caught off guard, man. And hey, absolutely, man. You Americans are about to be caught off guard because you think all is well, all is good. All right, they ain't gotten rid of those uh, so-called, you know. Mass mandates and all that shit, they about to bring that shit back. And then, hey, they about to bring it back in a, in a major way. All of that stuff that you people thought was done away with and gone, it's about to come back, man. Those restrictions are about to come back, man. Okay? So, hey, you people that are, hey, settling on your knees, man, you about to be caught off guard. You about to be in for a, a big surprise, man. You Americans, man. You Babylonian. Okay? Let's read, let's scroll through a few of these. I'm not going to read them, all right? And as you can see, all right, you see the lines, where the folks line up, all right? Let's go to it. Let's go to this article. All right, you see it, all right? You see the lines line up, all right? People panting by, and hey, that happened here in Babylon. That's going to happen again, okay? All right? When the uh, thing broke out here, and hey, in America, okay? People was panic buying tissue, toilet paper, all right? And pretty soon, once that starts to happen, they're going to have a limit on how much stuff you can buy, how much water you can buy, how much toilet paper you can buy. All that is coming back, man, okay? In a big way. And it's going to be 10 times worse, man. So, hey, that's why you got to stay ready, man. We telling you it's nice. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Hey, look, things are about to get worse. This devil is about to bring that MOTB, okay? You all know what the MOTB is, okay? All right, they're about to get ready to earth shit that out, okay? It's coming, all right? Everything we're telling you through the spirit and the power of y'all about Shin Yon Shai is coming, okay? All right, this is from NBC News. It says, panic buying in Beijing as C, -T C you see it, you know, fears of lockdowns, all right? So the cases are rising again. Okay, so it's like they rising again here in Babylon, man. Okay, so hey, the lockdowns, all of that's about to come, man. You Americans are about to be caught off guard, man. Okay, you already got a, a famine that's coming, all right, with those uh 19 uh meat processing plants burning. Okay, the famine is about to be, it's about to come. Okay, your president Joe Biden, he already warned of that. So hey. Evil times and evil days are fast approaching, man. We're at the end of this devil's rulership. And we're warning you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, to come back to the spirit and power of y'all about to see y'all before it's too late, all right? So, hey, when these things do begin to happen, 
you're not going to have no excuse, man. Okay? You're not going to have no excuse. You can't say no one didn't warn you because you were warned, but you didn't take heed. All right? All right? You see the that one from New York Times. All right? You said the C. It says the C outbreak sparse panic buying in Beijing. And all these things that are happening over there, it's going to come here to Babylon. It's going to be worse, okay? It's going to be worse over here than it is in these other countries, all right? It's from Reuters. It says, panic buying in Beijing stores aim see not see lockdown fears, okay? So people are basically panic buying over there, okay? So you see it, all right? I'm not going to read any of these. You can look this up for yourself, all right? All right, let's get the scriptures, man, because, hey, we're in those times, man. The evil days are fast approaching, man, okay? Jacob's trouble, man, Jeremiah 30 and 7 and Daniel's 12 and 1, okay? So, hey, there's no, there's no time to be, <laughs> you know, messing around and be bullshitting around, man, because, hey, all these things are coming to pass, okay? This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 7. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and earthquakes. Slogging. There shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All these are the beginning of sorrows, man. Okay. All right. We're in the beginning of sorrows. Okay. All right. Let's read Matthew 24 and verse 19. And it reads, And woe unto them. That are with child and to them that give suck in those days. Verse 20. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor nor ever shall be. Great tribulation, trouble, anguish. Okay. Distress. All right. Jacob's trouble, man. Jeremiah 37. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, man. The destruction of Babylon, the great America, is coming, man. All right. The brother Gabar Dama, he had a vision, all right, of seeing the destruction of this place, man. Okay. So, hey, we are close. All right. We're close to the salvation of the hopeful net, or when we're part of that number. And we're also close to the destruction of this wicked-ass queendom known as Babylon, the great America, man, okay? So we're close and close, okay? This is, uh, yeah, verse 22. And it said, those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. The days are being shortened, man. Prophecies are moving fast, man, okay? These prophecies are not tearing, okay? Let's get that. And Habakkuk. I'm going to start at verse 1. Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me up the tower and will watch to see what he shall say unto me and what shall I answer and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Verse 2. And the Lord Yahweh shall answer me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. These prophecies are not tearing, okay? All right? So, hey, we're close, all right? All right? Uh, let's see. What else got here? Who else we want to go? Where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? Yeah, let's go here. This is 2nd Israel chapter 16 and verse 37. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. These plagues are drawing nigh. The plagues of destruction, anguish, famine, pestilence. All these plagues are drawing nigh, man. And they're not slacking, okay? All right, we just read that in half of 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. These plagues are no longer delaying. Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is about to bring heavy judgment, death, and destruction to Babylon, the great America, man. And if you're not in the spirit and you're not watching, you're going to get caught off guard, man. Okay? You're going to get caught off guard, and you, hey, you're going to get taken. Okay? Verse 38. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, 
with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains, and and when the child coming forth, they slack not a moment. All right, verse thirty nine. Even so shall not the plants be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Man, a lot of death and judgment is about to come. Okay, let's prove that. Jeremiah chapter 25 and 33, I believe. Yeah, come on. Jeremiah chapter 30. It's not Jeremiah 25 and verse 33. And the slaying of the Lord Yahweh shall be at that day from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. A lot of death is about to come to Babylon, great America judgment all right all these things that we're saying are coming man okay so hey you're gonna know in that day that there's been a true prophet among you man you israelites man you so-called negroes latinos native americans okay this is uh ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 3 and he said unto me son of man i send thee to the children of israel to a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me they and their fathers have transgressed against me even until this very day. Two-thirds of our people, they mock the messengers. They mock the prophets, saying that the prophets are false, man. All right? Saying all these manners of things. And, hey, we're out there warning you, doing these daily epistles. All right? Doing these daily lessons, going out to the highways and byways, putting up these daily epistles, warning you. Of the impending destruction that's about to come upon this place. But what do you two-thirds Israelites do? You mock the messengers. You mock the prophets. You mock his men. And as a matter of fact, <laughs> I got to get that, man. Let me go to my Blue Letter Bible, though. Okay? Let's get that in my Blue Letter Bible. All right? Let's go to Second Chronicles 36 and verse 15. All right, let's read this both verses 15 and 16 in the KJV, and then we're going to read it in the NLT. Okay, Second Chronicles 36 and verse 15. And the Lord Yahweh, power of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers, rising up betimes and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling places. All right. He's sending his messengers, his messengers, his prophets, the men of the Lord, to warn you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to, hey, to repent before it's too late, okay? And take heed to these prophecies and the warning that, hey, Babylon, the great America, is about to be destroyed. This place is about to go, okay? So, hey, take heed to the warning. But what y'all do, man? All right, verse 16. But they mocked the messengers of Yahweh. And despise his word and misuse his prophets until the wrath of the Lord Yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy. Okay, let's read this in the NLT. It says, The Lord Yahweh, the power of their ancestors, repeatedly sent his prophets to warn them. And that's what we do, man. All right, Ezekiel 3 and verse 17. Give them warning from me. And that's what us prophets do. We're giving you the warning. We're sounding the alarm, blowing the trumpet, man, loud and clear of what's to come, okay? For he had compassion on his people and his temple. The Lord Yahweh shall have compassion on his people, but what his people do? Verse 16, but the people mocked these messengers of Yahweh and despised his words. They scoffed at the prophets until the Lord Yahweh shall his anger could no longer be restrained and there and nothing could be done okay and that's what you uh hey that's what two thirds of the Israelites do you mock and you scoff you mock the messengers and you scoff you go on the common board mocking and scoffing the men of the Lord man all right hey you're gonna have to pay for that shit man all right like it says every idle word that you say is gonna get accounted for man okay knowing that you marking your own self for death and destruction okay and we're here warning you man putting our bodies Hey, making our bodies a living sacrifice, risking our lives and freedom to warn you Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans of the death and destruction that's coming upon this place, okay? So, hey, 
he, look, when all hell breaks loose, you can't say you wasn't warned, okay? Let's read this again in Ezekiel. Back to Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that had rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. Verse 4. For they are imprudent children and stiff-hearted. Our people are stiff-hearted and hard-headed. Don't want to listen. Okay? <clears throat> Verse, yeah, let's read on. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, how much they shall have power. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there had been a prophet among them. You're going to know in that time that their true prophet was among you, man. Okay? You're going to know. When your ass getting jacked up. Okay? All right? Um... Dang, I just had a scripture in my head too, man. Wow, it just went away. Um, mm, mm. Let's move on then. Uh, it'll come back to me. Uh, it'll come back to me, all right? Let's move on. All right, let's move on. Let's go here. This is Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 26. And again, the word of the glory of God, Hashem, Yashai, came to me saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and he prophesied of the times that are far off. That's what you guys might say, man. Oh, those, that, that ain't going to happen in my time, man. I'm going to be dead when these things take place. No, man, you here, and they're going to take place now, okay? And they are taking place now. The MOTB is about to come, okay? Jacob's trouble, all right? All hell breaking loose, all right? The FEMA concentration camp, more lockdowns, more restrictions. This devil coming, all right, coming in with great rap because he knows that he have with a short time, man. All right, these things are about to come. World War Three, all right, famines, food shortages, race riots, civil unrest. Okay, all these things are coming. Okay, evil days are upon us. Okay, verse twenty-eight. Therefore say unto them, Thus said the Lord Yahabashim Yashiah Power, There shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord Yahabashim Yashiah Power, man. Okay? Let's get that. And that's the perfect timing, too, for this scripture right here. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Okay? The prophecies, okay? The words of the Lord Yahabashim are not going out void, man. These prophecies, man. All right? That's why we got to continue to stay occupied in prophecy. Okay? <clears throat> this is Sirachal Ecclesiastes chapter 39 and verse uh, 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High Yahabashim Yashai, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients and be occupied in prophecies. All right, we got to continue to stay occupied in prophecy. Continue to watch, okay? Watch as well as pray, okay? All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. All right, let's move on. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, let's go here. All right, this is Daniel 12 and verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book, the book of life, man. And only the elect are going to be saved, man, and protected in these times, man, okay? In the time of Jacob's trouble, okay? Right, let's move on. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord Yahabashi Asha so cometh as a thief in the night. Verse 3. When they shall say peace and safety, all right, they told you that you don't have to wear those things on your face anymore. Oh, those restrictions are gone. <laughs> yeah. Guess what? Now, all about to come back, too, man. 
For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right? And hey, a lot of you Americans are about to be caught off guard, man. Okay? All right? Verse 4. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. We're not in darkness. Okay? Verse 5. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. All right? Continue to watch the prophecies. Be sober. Be vigilant. Okay? Continue to watch. Pray. All right? Verse 7. But for they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Okay? All right? So, hey, let's continue to watch and pray, man. Because, hey, shit is about to get real, man. Okay? All right? Let's move on. This is 2nd Israel chapter 16, verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of eat, like The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Okay? All right? Verse 19. Behold, famine and plague and tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. All of these are sent to correct you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Verse 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sore, famine, and great confusion. Okay, a lot of confusion, man. All right? Because, hey, this devil's about to come down with great wrath because he know it that he had but a short time. Okay? Verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the others that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Verse 23. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and they shall have no man to comfort, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down. Okay? Nothing but evil is coming. Let's, and as a matter of fact, I just remember the scripture that I wanted to go to. Okay? Uh, let's see. When I want to go. I want to start. Let's start. Mm. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going I'm I'm to I'm start at verse 1. This is Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord, how about she and I came unto me, saying... Also thy son of man, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh shall have power unto the land of Israel, and in the end is come upon the four corners of the land. All right? All the four corners of the earth, man. And this is what we're warning you about. Okay? The end is near. Okay? The day of the Lord is, hey, is hasting greatly. Okay? All right? Verse 3. Now is the end come upon thee. And I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thy abominations. All right, two thirds of the Israelites are about to be cut off and down on this side, man. Okay, only the elect are going to be saved in these times of troubles, man. Okay, verse four, and my eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy way, thy ways upon thee. And thy abominations shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh Shinyal Shai, man. Alright, verse 5. Thus said the Lord Yahweh Shinyal Shai power. And evil and only evil, behold, is come. The end is come. And the the end and end is come. The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is come. Okay, the end is near, man. The end of this rulership. Who's in rulership right now? Esau, the so-called white man. Okay? All right? This devil is, his end is near. Okay? All right, verse 7. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwells in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sound, and not the sounding again of the mountains, man. Okay? The end is near. The day of trouble is near. Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 37. As a matter of fact, I'm not to mention it. <laughs> I might well go on and get it, man. Jeremiah 37. 
Um, I'm gonna start at verse five, man. Okay, Jeremiah thirty and verse. Yeah, I'm gonna start at verse four, man. All right, <laughs> start at verse four. <laughs> Jeremiah thirty and four. Get all that meat, man. Get all that meat off the scripture, man. All right, Jeremiah thirty and four. And these are the words that the Lord of Yahweh Yahshua spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah, all to the tribes, man. Okay. Verse 5, for thus said the Lord Yahweh Yahshua, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. There is no peace coming. The peace ain't going to come until Babylon the Great is destroyed, until the elect is delivered out of Jacob's trouble, and out of, and hey, delivered from the destruction of this place, man. And once Babylon the Great America is destroyed and Esau is taken out of power, then the peace is going to come. Okay? Verse 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man do travail with child. Where do I see every man with his hands up on his loins as a woman in travail and all face are turned into paleness? Verse, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Only the elect are going to be saved out of Jacob's trouble. Okay, let's get one more. All right, let's go to Zephaniah 1 and verse. Yeah, I'm going to read verse 12. Zephaniah 1 and 12. And it shall come to pass that at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. All right, it's talking about a people before a place, man. All right, Siphon, man. All right, the Lord Yahweh Yahshua is sifting, okay? And punish the men that are settled on their knees, that say in their hearts, the Lord Yahweh Yahshua will not do good, neither will he do evil, all right? That's Esau Eden, the so-called white man in general, and these heathens, but also two-thirds of our own people say that, all right? They say that the Lord is not going to do good, neither will he do evil, all right? <laughs> yeah, okay. And as a matter of fact, Go to Amos. Let's go to Amos right quick. Let's shoot the Amos right quick and then I'm going to come back. Amos 9 and verse 8. <clears throat> Behold, the eyes of the morning, how about she and are upon the sinful kingdom? All right, it's twofold. All right, sinful kingdom is talking about Israel, you Israelites, man. But if you also apply this to Babylon, the great America, because Babylon, America, is also a sinful kingdom. All right, that's about to be destroyed. All right. And I will destroy it from all the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord Yahweh Shinyashai. For as nigh, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in the sea, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Verse 10 All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, The evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Two thirds are about to be cut off and down this side, okay? Only the one third are gonna be preserved. The one third of that, okay? Let's go back to Zephaniah. Alright, I'm gonna read verse 13. Therefore their goods shall become a booty, and their houses shall slock and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards. But not drink the wine thereof. Verse 14. The great day of the Lord Yahweh Shinyashai is near. It is near and hasting greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord Yahweh Shinyashai. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. The day of the Lord Yahweh Shinyashai is near, man. Okay. Verse 15. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. Verse 17, and I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord Yahweh Shinyashai and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Verse 18, Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord Yahweh Shinyashai's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he is slight. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. This place is about to be destroyed, man. Judgment is about to come upon Babylon the Great America, man. So take heed. 
All right, before it's too late. All right. Uh, let's see anything else I got. Mm, no, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna end it here, man. All right. So, Lord willing, our praise and lesson was edifying. All praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, Hashem Rakadash. That belongs to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who will well, peace, blessings, and citations always go to the home for the let that is scattered abroad. See you with another lesson soon. Lord willing, Kwame Yashem Rang Hashem Wam, Wild Baba Ball, about a Wam, DTA, a Baba Ball. Boom! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, man. We're at the end of this thing, man. All right, we almost out of here. Till next time, I say Sean Wong. Sean Wong.